I'm Matthew Barton, a specialist auctioneer of silver works of art and objects of virtue, and I hold sales at 25 Blythe Road in West London under the banner of Matthew Barton Limited. One of the problems with silver can be telling whether it actually is silver. Silver is a precious metal, so expensive, and very often pieces are made from electroplate and not silver. Electroplating is a process whereby a thin layer of silver is deposited on a base metal, usually nickel, um, but sometimes copper or Britannia metal, which is a um, alloy a bit like pewter and has a similar metallic tang to it when you tap it. Sometimes you can tell that a piece is plated rather than silver because it's worn and the base metal is showing through often on the edges of a piece. So you get perhaps a reddish tinge if it's copper or a yellow tinge if it's nickel or a grey tinge if it's Britannia metal. One of the common things with electroplate that people can be misled by is that it does often have marks and people assume that anything that looks like silver with marks on it must be silver. But electroplate marks were commonly put on things in the 19th century and often they do look very much like silver marks. There are certain things to look out for to see whether it's electroplate or silver. Um, a common one is to find the initials EP or EPNS or EPBM. Another one such as this is the letters A1, which is a plating quality, um, but has nothing to do with whether it's silver or not. Most silver from the 18th century, 19th century and 20th century should have, if it's English silver or British silver, a clear set of marks. And these follow a fairly basic pattern. What you want to find are, in general, four marks, sometimes five marks. But the four marks, there should be a maker's mark, a lion passant, which is the mark that tells you that it's sterling silver, a town mark, which can be a variety of different things, commonly a leopard's head, an anchor or a crown, and a date letter. The fifth mark, which you sometimes find, is a duty mark, which is a king's head or a Victoria's head sometimes.